Yeah, this, this is a request too. Uh, the last tale of our show is suggested by the Klondike Gold Rush of the years 1896 to 1899. This is the part of the Yukon Territory in Northwest Canada. Of the 100,000 would-be prospectors who set out for that region, only 30 to 40,000 arrived at their destination. Many perished from the elements or starvation. Eventually, the Canadian government required each settler to bring a year's supply of food with them. These provisions weighed over 1,100 pounds and often had to be transported by mule, horse, or dog sled as the rivers were frozen for much of the year. In the end, only 4,000 hardy souls discovered gold. This poem is called The Cremation of Sam McGee. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge. I cremated Sam McGee. Now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blooms and blows why he left his home in the south to roam round the pole. God only knows. He was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. On a Christmas day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold through the parka's fold. It stabbed like a driven nail. <clears throat> if our eyes we'd closed, then the lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night, as we laid packed tight in our robes beneath the stone, and the dogs were fed, and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe. He turns to me and, Cap, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And this I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low that I couldn't say no. Then he says with sort of a moan, It's the cursed cold, and it's got right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone yet taint being dead it's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains so i want you to swear that foul or fair you'll cremate my last remains a pal's last need is a thing to heed so i swore i would not fail and we started on at the streak of dawn but god he looked ghastly pale he crouched on the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death. As I hurried, horror driven with a corpse half hid, I couldn't get rid because of a promise given was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say you may tax your brawn and your brains, but you promised true, and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. Now a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart how I cursed that load, in the long, long light by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring howled out their woes to the homeless snows. Oh God, how I loathe that thing. And every day that quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. And on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The tail, trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in. And I'd often sing to the hateful thing and it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake Labarge and a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice and I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. And I looked at it and I thought of it and I looked at my frozen chum then here, said I, with a sudden cry, is my cream, the Tory Elm.
Some planks I tore from the cabin floor and I lit the boiler flyers. Some coal I found that was lying round and I heaped the fuels higher. The flames just soared and the furnace roared. Such a blaze you seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal and I stuffed him Sam Lee. Then I made a hike for I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled and the huskies howled and the winds began to blow. It was icy cold, but the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks and I don't know why. And the greasy smoke in an inky cloak went streaking down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear. But the stars came out and they danced about. Till again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar, and he wore a smile you could see a mile, and he said, please close that door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold in the storm. Since I left Tennessee down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who boil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge. I cremated Sam McGee. <laughs> Robert Service, ladies and gentlemen. A poem that John McCain used to recite to himself when he was a prisoner of war for the Vietnamese, North Vietnamese. Anyway, just that little historical tidbit. Thanks everyone for coming out. I appreciate it very much. We'll see you around campus, as they say. Thank you. Thank you.